Joining us now on the news at five to discuss what university leaders are planning for as it pertains to COVID-19 is Lauren Ansel Myers, director of the COVID-19 modeling team at UT Austin. Thanks so much for your time, Professor Myers. A recent report by your team there stating that it can be expected that as many as 183 students may arrive back on campus already infected with the virus and that if every student on campus were tested in the first week, as many as 340 to 341 would be expected to test positive. How do you mitigate the spread when you're expecting that many cases as classes are just beginning? Yeah, one of the most important things we can do is just instill a culture of caution in our community, among our students, our staff, our faculty, but especially those students who are returning. Uh, it's They should comply with the university's recommendation that they go through a 14-day quarantine, ensure that they are healthy before they return to socializing with their friends, return to campus, that they do wear face masks whenever they are around other people, they keep physical distance, and importantly, if they or any members of their household have even the mildest symptom associated with COVID, they should err on the side of caution, stay home, isolate themselves from others. We have seen clusters at other college campuses, I'm sure you're aware of that, um, that originate off campus, and you talked a little bit about this. We know students, most faculty members don't live on campus. Does that provide another challenge to attempt to mitigate the spread as you begin the school year? Yeah, certainly it does. The more, uh, well, it's not that they, that students live off campus, it's really the choices they make and their behavior off campus. If students and faculty and staff are really being cautious in their daily activities, then uh, it's less likely they'll get exposed. But if, if the kids come back, the students come back and they're socializing, they're going out in public without taking precautions, then there are gonna be bigger risks that if somebody, they encounter somebody that is infected, that they themselves get infected and have the opportunity to spread the virus to others. Professor Byers, thank you so much for your time. Best of luck this fall semester to all of you at UT. Thanks so much. Stay safe, everyone.